guys, this is Brian with Powerhouse Racing. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a nice update we have to um, our uh, aftermarket cam gears. Um, first, a little uh, backstory on aftermarket cam gears. Um, you guys have probably all seen the uh, horror stories of cam gears that have um, been installed and then shifted um, while the vehicle is running, smash valves and things like that. Well, we came up with a solution on our cam gear to be able to uh, ultimately eliminate any slip um, out of the gear. So most of the time, any of the big racers running large lift cams and um, you know a lot of RPM and stuff, truck usually will avoid an aftermarket cam gear for that specific reason. That there's a lot of force on these bolts um, that can, you know, it's, it's all just a it's a it's a sheer force that holds these gears in place. It's just a clamping force. There's nothing really to keep it from turning if if the bolt was to loosen or if it's just not tight enough. So. Most guys will keep running the stock cam gears and, and just kind of, which is basically a zero position cam gear, um, and run that just to avoid that slipping situation. But there's a lot to be had with being able to degree your camshaft um, and your gears to, uh, for uh, optimal performance and what the cam was designed to do. So just a quick little rundown of how these things were working before is very basic, is you would basically put them on, the, put them on at the zero mark and basically just tighten up the bolts you know this is just a real quick demonstration and the tightness of these bolts just keep it from slipping so now that I cannot turn it anymore so now if these were to ever loosen or if there's enough force the motor could actually twist it in there so I just loosen up just a touch Yeah, there it goes. There's your slip. So it doesn't take much to make them slip. So here at Powerhouse, what we've introduced is this new, a new lock. It's a very simple design. All it is is basically a, uh, huh, a uh, little shim-like piece, but it's basically a lock that goes back behind the bolt and locks it into place. So this will slip back here in these little slots. And then you just bolt it on the normal way. What this does do is keeps it from turning from any position. And all of our cam gears are going to sh ship with these locks in place. So this makes it even if I even if I'm able to loosen all of the bolts all the way up. All these, every single one of those is a loose bolt. But this thing will not turn in the housing. It is virtually impossible for it to to turn in there. Well, as long as the bolts don't break, which we're not worried about. Okay, so all of them are going to ship with ship with these shims in the zero position. Um, most people run their gears in the zero position. Most people don't necessarily need to or want to have to deal with um, degreeing their camshaft. But if you do need to degree your camshaft, then we offer our, our um, adjusting kit which this is all different degreeing positions. One kit will come with every single one of these positions. You'll already have the zeros because you already have them, but for every degree, you're gonna have to install a different one of these. These can be done fairly quickly, um, even on the motor or tuning on the dyno. Usually on the dyno, you would just run one at a time until you get your um, degreeing all the way in, but, um, and then put all five of them on. But let's say I want to go to four degrees advanced or four degrees retarded. Basically, I'll just remove my old ones and you can do these one at a time also you don't well not actually one at a time you can do it to where remove four of them keep one in place this can be done on the motor so now we're going to go to four degrees basically i'll take my cam and i will set it to depending on which direction I'm going, degrees advanced or retard, it'll use the same four, number four. So there's four degrees right there. It's hard to see on this one, but there we're at four degrees. And I take my number four locks, drop them into place. And there we are, all locked into place. That's not even tight, but you can see it's impossible for me to turn this. Oh, there at the four position. 
and that's basically how it works there's a lot of tricks as you go as you get more and more used to these um, these can be changed out um, relatively quick if you're on an engine dyno or if you're just doing in your motor and on the stand it's really easy on the dyno you could you can um, maybe run one lock at a time or you can even not run a lock while you're on the dyno as long as you make sure everything's tight so you can degree it in first then after add your locks after the fact probably be best to keep a lock in place but um, that's basically how it works uh, we think this is a great solution for uh, guys who are wanting a really nice cam gear and um, are worried about uh, you know the slippage that uh, other gears have so anyway hope you enjoy our video hopefully you uh, pick up a set of these um, we'd like to see them on a lot of cars so we appreciate your uh, your time thanks